Hello! With the help of a couple of subscribers, I finally found out exactly what uh, the Maintain Offsets tool is for. It appears down here on my screen uh, when the Pull tool is activated and we've got a, an item on the screen. So sometimes it is active and sometimes it is not. And I'm going to show you the reason why this happens. So we'll start off by making a simple cube. Twenty millimeters by twenty millimeters. Pull P for pull by twenty millimeters tall. And we will shell it out with the shell tool one millimeter. Uh, it's done for us. Now then, nothing down here yet. We'll select the pull tool and we have here maintain offset. And it is capable of being activated this at this stage. I can move over it and it will acquire a grey background. Suppose I select it and select an internal wall here and drag. Left mouse button and drag. There we see the purpose of that tool. It has maintained the wall thickness. Said, suppose we choose another wall, we control click another wall, click left mouse button, click and drag, and it maintains the wall thickness of those two walls. In fact, we can select all the walls, left mouse button and drag, and it maintains the wall thickness of all of them. Even when the thickness disappears it still remembers that there used to be walls, wall thicknesses, because if we if we go back it brings back the walls for us. Control click the base left mouse button and click Is it changing the height? Let us put a dimension on. Pull the walls in by a certain amount. It's moved the walls in by 10 and it's moved the base up by 10, as you see. Now let us control Z back. To the box and we'll make a hollow box by a different method sketch plane on the top V for vertical and we'll put a square on top of there so we've now got a, a wall thickness here of one millimeter P key for pull Pull and we'll pull that down 19 so we've got pretty much the same as we had before using the shell tool. We've got a box with 1mm sides and a 1mm base. We've got the pull tool selected, but here, look here, down in the maintain offset, the tool is greyed out. It's not active. It can't be used. Even if I select the side in there, still greyed out, dead. Not active. The wall can of course be pulled, 
but the offset is not maintained. So then it appears that this tool is only of use when you shell something with the shell tool here. It may be possible with other tools but I'm not sure about that, I don't think so. So there is the maintain offsets for you. It works in some cases but uh, not in others. It seems to be for a specific use when using the shell tool. It's probably worth knowing so I hope you found that interesting and useful. I'll see you very soon with more Design Spark Mechanical tutorials. Bye for now. Bye.